who's a better cook, your mom or your wife? Oh, that's a tough one, man. <laughs> Try to put me in the spot, right? <laughs> Hello, welcome to another episode of Chat Local where I invite VIPs to share with me their favourite makan places. Today, I'm in Muslim because I'm meeting Senior Minister of State, Mr. Zaki Muhammad. Hello, hey, Zaki. Hello, Maureen. Welcome to Muslim. Now, this is like our little kampo here. Mm. It's a heartbeat of Muslim and also woodland sound. So, it's a really traditional area where you find, you know, good food, hawker fair. Um, and markets. And markets at affordable prices too. Ah. And really wonderful company too. <laughs> yes, like you and me, right? <laughs> So the first stop, first stop, where are you going to bring me to? Well, we're going to take you to the Hawker Centre right behind. Yes, which has a whole bunch of traditional fare ranging from, you know, pala to tose to prawn noodles and appam and everything else you can think of. Oh, I've got them all here. Let's go check it out. Yes. What have you ordered? Man, this is like, you know, uh, breakfast, lunch and dinner probably. <laughs> <laughs> this is our first stop. <laughs> I know, I know. So this is like nasi ambal from Magia. I think uh, Mirabo is the same and Kueh as well. Mm. So these three, I think we have to queue quite a bit for them. So say Apam from uh, uh, Such. Yep. Yes. So those are just right behind there. Mm. And of course, this is Uncle Pancakes. a quite famous one. I want to try Apam because it's very different. Like, we always eat prata, to yeah. say the same things, right? But to really have Apam, wow, with the brown sugar, this looks good. Oh, this is really good. The spread is a queue, yeah. So it's usually a tough one between Ambeng and Rawan for me. So who's a better cook, your mom or your wife? Oh, that's a tough one, man. <laughs> Try to put me in the spot, right? <laughs> so my mom is a dishes that you know I, I enjoy as a child, and today I enjoy when I go and you know, visit her for Hari Raya especially. So she's got big chicken that's really good. My wife, of course, you know, it's, uh, say she's known for cake cookers, which she rarely oh. does. Okay. But uh, you know, it's, it's something that I, I think if you ever get one, uh, people are really appreciative because she does it once in the blue moon, but it's it's really good. Hmm. So so, but because both work, so therefore I do appreciate both women for <laughs> making time for the family oh. to, to, to to cook. But they are both excellent cooks. So usually yeah. when you go for like let's say holiday and then yeah. you come back, right? What's the first dish that you wow, die die must have? Like I crave for it. It's a toss up like, between nasi lemak and laksa. But my other comfort food is really miso soto. Like, that's oh. comfort food, yes. Oh. Why? Just a soupy thing, I just like soup. Mm. Yeah. So, the, how do you like this uh, nasi ambing? Oh no, it's really good. It's very good. I, like, you know, the, the, the queue is really long for this one, but, but I think it's really worth it. Masala dosa. Yes, got a thin, chewy skin, and inside, you know, not spicy, but you get that aroma from the spices. This is very good. Oh, the curry on top. Oh yeah, of course. Just like it goes Yeah. Oh, this is my Yep. Actually, I bought it for her because I can take some for myself. So what do you think we should do more to preserve our hot heritage? I feel it's always very difficult to renew and preserve. Mm. Hiring is always a problem. Yes. But it's so difficult to find. So I think sometimes you're a victim of our own success. Yeah. And uh, I have to say, we're also quite demanding as consumers. Lah. You know, you want the food ready when I come, before I go to work, for example, at 7 or you know, 8. So you look at European cities, for example, they end up with a situation where you know the, the stores don't open so early and they don't and they don't open so late. So so it becomes a mm. time where you know people are willing to try without sacrificing. Like a sweet spot, la, like I would say. Spot. It's yeah. a compromise, I would say. Yeah. But I'm not saying that will happen now, but mm. uh, if you can see where the Europeans are, where some of the other countries are with this, it may well be the case where you know they themselves found that hey, their own hawkers will not uh, do their own fare unless they have uh, regular work hours and so forth. But I short of outsourcing the whole thing to, to, to foreigners. Mm. If you want to keep it local, then you really have to rethink maybe where the compromise might be. Oh, wow. Hey, you got my favourite there. This popcorn. is the... Yes, popcorn correct. Chunk. Peanut butter and corn. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is really good. Yeah. 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 And then I, when I went to the store just now, I see that, wow, it's only a couple, old couple doing it. Okay, I'm done here already. I want to go and buy some fish to cook tonight. We are done here, right? That's all? Not really, but I'm going to take you to another place. It's called Marsling Mall. Um, we're going to round two. <laughs> round two? Fish. <laughs> okay. See you at Marsling Mall. Well, we're now at the second stop of our tour. This is Marsling Mall, and it's uh, another hawker centre that's uh, recently built about three, four years back. When we moved and shifted out of the old Woodlands Town Centre, 
we brought a number of hawkers right here. Oh right! Yes. All the old hawkers here! All the old hawkers oh. that you know you were so familiar with forming the JB in the past. Yeah. A number of them have come here. Yes. And what are we eating today? Well you've got this uh, beef noodle from Yasin Kampong. So most know Yasin from the upper part of Marsling, but they've got a little outlet here. And so we've got quesadillas and kebabs from Arabica. And we're gonna order Twitter Goreng also, right? We're gonna order Twitter Goreng and uh, I've got a nice day tarik here if you guys want. <laughs> Alright man, come. That's a lot. Beef noodles! Yeah. I wasn't expecting it, but this is so good. The broth is so thick, so complex, so intense. The spiciness, the savouriness, all coming together. Oh wow. Wow, really a punch, man. Oh, this is very good. How long have you been serving here? Well, about two years, two years plus. How has it been so far? Well, it's been really wonderful. I mean, um, coming in during COVID after the general elections, I think it's been a wonderful revelation. I think it's really about seeing people when you know, we were almost vulnerable and at the same time being able to serve with uh, you know, a lot of um, hard work and um, help on the ground, especially especially to, with COVID operations. All right, this... Uh, the Kway Teow Goreng. The Kway Teow Goreng. Um, and my favourite is actually the chilli. So I'm a, I'm, I'm a chilli fan and I and I like eat chilli like no one's business usually. <laughs> Very tasty. The other, the other thing I would recommend is mm. if, uh, for, for those who are interested, if you want tulang, uh, it's, this is uh, quite good. But was it difficult like to engage the older generation and then you know you have some uh, younger residents as well? Yeah. So when you look at the old parts of the mas of Masling, for example, you find that there's a certain generation difference. So there's real diversity because in the older part of Masling that we went just, just now, so you find older residents who were there since the old kampong days and they associate themselves to being part of the kampongs near the causeway. Yeah, they know uh, each other. They know each other yeah. and they are very proud Maslingers, for example. The younger ones are typically the, you know, the new BTOs that are just up and this area here, la, Masling Mall and all Coffee the... Point. Causeway Point, Wood Square and all that. So it's a very different, different culture and you find that with the old, older generation, when you go to a house visits, the doors are always perpetually open, um, very friendly, friendly yeah. welcoming. And for some of our new BTOs, you know, they communicate through Telegram and Facebook groups as well. Oh, so, yeah. oh so, I didn't know. So I get to you know see all their concerns. and. Oh, uh, that's you know, so interesting. They have different they ways about, to communicate with you. Uh, yeah, and do and more the themselves team, too. Yeah. Yeah. So they talk about group eyes, they talk about sharing renovation tips, oh. they talk about yeah, cheap deals. Hey, the, the, the kebabs are no bad actually. Yeah. Oh, that's a huge piece of quesadilla. Mm. Mm. We usually get kebabs in restaurants, mm. but I think it's interesting that we can find it here in Hawker Centre. No. Yeah, and, and, and I think they're both Turkish. <laughs> Really? Mm. Okay, so talking about more serious stuff, yes. like, I mean when I visit all the, all the hawker centres, right? Then I see all the cleaners and all. So we always talk about, you know, salary concern, their wage and all. And I know that you are very into it, you have a strong interest in our progressive wage model. Maybe you would like to share more about it also. Yes, you know, in fact, the, the progressive wages has been a big push by the government, I mean, on all fronts. Uh. So whether the government supports our workers directly through workfare, whether we, uh, you know, uh, help companies to support them and hire them and even for them you know we talk about how the unions and employers you know negotiate their salaries so that we can uplift their salaries and that's something that we want to do more through progressive wages and you see a good plan from now until 2028 so this current bound current phase is quite important so you've seen um, new rollouts so apart from cleaning security and landscape and lift technicians previously now we're expanding we've expanded to retail sector last September and upcoming, we're announcing food services. So that will cover many of our storeholders, F&B uh, okay. workers, as well as even drivers and admins. When you mentioned like the new sectors like the retail and f and side of things, right? So what are some of the new rollouts that will happen? Well, you know, so retail started. So we started with about 1,850 um, salary and baseline. So that I think has increased uh, many of the wages of the retailers, uh, retail staff. And we hope that beyond just that, you know, it also helps to contribute to training. So we always mention about skills, right? And I think for the older generation, it's always more difficult for them to send them to courses. Yeah. So in this in, in this area, how do you think that you know we can help to encourage more older folks to upskill themselves? So as a baseline for many of these progressive wage PWMs, we do have uh, baseline training. So that should cover everyone. At least they know their basic responsibilities, how to work safely, 
Um, and to me, I think what's so important is uh, what, I, what, what I call work right means, um, you know, them knowing what their rights are as an individual, as a worker, and so that they can't be taken advantage of so easily. Lah. So, four day work week or five day work week? Flexible arrangement. <laughs> <laughs> so it can Very be one, two, three, four, five or so can depends on how you want to flex, work, work flexibly. <laughs> so I mean that, that, that is something MOM is uh, promoting, you know, in the sense of how we can create more flexible arrangements, work from home, remote working. Sometimes people do one care giving um, you know flexibility to and so it's not about four or five days, or even six days, whatever it is. It's really about how you can work out your roles flexibly and work with, work with companies. Okay, I will think about that also. Flexible work arrangement, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Minister, for joining me today Thank you. and showing me around all the good foods in Nasling. Yes. Oh yeah, hopefully we'll meet for round three of Makan soon. <laughs> please come back again, you know. You're always welcome and all of you guys, please come to Masling. <laughs> and if you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you next time. Bye-bye!